In Minnesota and across the country, pharmacists are warning about an all-time high drug shortage. More than 300 medications are in short supply, including life-saving drugs for cancer and diabetes. Richard Reeve is here with what you can do to make sure your family gets what you need. Yeah, Kevin, that's right. Some of these are life-saving medications. Other treat behavioral or diet issues. But experts say this is a very real problem and that the pharmaceutical industry hasn't completely recovered from the pandemic. At St. Paul Corner Drug. We'll get a bunch in and then we won't be able to get any for quite some time. They're running short on some medicines. Certainly the amphetamines have been a problem. The Ritalins, the uh, Adderall, those kind of medications have been a problem all throughout COVID and it really hasn't corrected itself. This locally owned drugstore isn't alone. The American Society of Health System Pharmacists says in the first three months of 2024, there were 323 active medication shortages, a record high. This is one of the worst times that, that we've had uh, as far as we've been tracking, uh, especially with the total number of, of ongoing and active shortages. The new diet drugs that everybody's all fired up about, um, those are very hard to get. But the Pharmacist Society says other drugs used to treat cancer, diabetes, and ADHD are also in short supply. Carolyn Sherritt is with the Minnesota chapter of JDRF, a nonprofit which funds diabetes research. It is a shortage that is happening on the front end of things, and then that trickles down into distribution to um, everyday people and their local pharmacies. So why is it happening? Experts cite higher demand and manufacturing shortages. Hessian says there's a lack of incentive for the big pharmaceutical companies to produce generic drugs that are now so cheap. And that means fewer manufacturers. If one of those manufacturers has a, a manufacturing hiccup, a, you know, for some reason the, a batch gets has to be discarded, or or they have to retool a plant or something, suddenly we're in a we're in a shortage situation. And the Biden administration is urging Congress to pass legislation rewarding hospitals that buy medications from a variety of drug makers. KSTP medical expert Dr. Arkel Giorgio says if you can't get a certain medication. Talk to your doctor about less popular doses that might be available. She says you should also check your pharmacy regularly. They might be out of a medication today, for example, but getting a new shipment the very next day. So be an advocate for yourself and your family. Yeah, for sure. And okay. great information to keep checking. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rich.